Hello today's video we have the following content. Luo Shiki plays Nangong Kianqi and Liu Guan Yin, showing the multiple charms of Princess Tian. Produced by Tencent Video and Fibao Media, co-produced by China Radio, Film and Television Program Trading Center Company, Limited, directed by Chang Yuanhe, written by Wang Yu and Liao Ziyaru, and starring Zhang Han and Zhu Zudin, the ancient costume fantasy love drama Liu Guangyin adapted from Mao Zia Amao's novel Poison Pet Mercenary Princess has attracted a large number of viewers since it was broadcast on Tencent Video on August 30, 2024. Among them, the young actor Luo Shiki played the role of Princess Dian Nangong Kianqian in the play, and won the love of the audience with her lively and lovely image and brave, straightforward and quick-talking character. Nangong Kianqian, played by Luo Shiki and Liu Guangyin, is an exotic princess with a lively and straightforward personality. She has both the noble temperament of a princess and the heroism of a child of the rivers and lakes. The love story between Nangong Kianqian and Situ He Onan, played by Wang He Oxiang, is full of twists and turns and challenges. But the two finally joined hands to overcome all difficulties and finally became a couple. Luo Shiki successfully created a three-dimensional and charming image of Princess Tian with her natural acting skills and deep understanding of the role. Every move and every line of hers is full of youthful vitality and love for the role. Luo Shiki interprets Nangong Kianqian's bravery and persistence vividly, allowing the audience to feel the sincere feelings of the character. Whether it is Wu Lun's persistent pursuit of love or his firm choice in the face of national justice, Luo Shiki interprets the complexity and depth of the character. The friendship between Nangong Kianqian and Han Ziking, played by Zhu Zudin, is also a major highlight of the play. The two resolved misunderstandings in the play, became close friends, and protected the people with other friends. They were not afraid to fight, showing the independence and strength of female characters in costume dramas. It is worth mentioning that Liu Guangyin was a work performed by Luo Shiki when she was 18 years old. After three years of precipitation and expectation, the play finally met with the audience. Luo Shiki's performance not only won the love of the audience, but also added a strong touch to her acting career. The popularity of the flowing light not only proves Luo Shiki's acting skills, but also shows her unlimited potential as an actor. As the plot develops, the fate and choices of Nangong Kianqian and her friends have also become the focus of the audience. How Luo Shiki will continue to interpret this role, let us continue to pay attention to the subsequent broadcast of The Flowing Might. At the same time, we also look forward to Luo Shiki bringing more wonderful works and profound roles on the road of her future acting career. Next news. Premiere tonight. 40 episodes of Xiangsha Masterpiece Surprise Airborne, 3 exciting highlights, say goodbye to drama shortage. Premiere tonight. 40 episodes of Xiangsha drama are coming, 3 highlights are exciting, say goodbye to drama shortage. Finally wait for you, Liu Guangyin. This Xiangsha drama that fans have been looking forward to will be staged on Tencent Video tonight. I believe that many viewers are ready to go at this moment, preparing snacks and drinks, just waiting to feast their eyes. Speaking of which, the recent popular dramas have ended one after another, and I am worried that there is nothing to catch up. Li Guangyin is here at this time, it is simply timely rain. 40 episodes are enough for us to satisfy our Xiangsha addiction. I wonder if you are like me, and I can't wait to see how exciting this drama is. When it comes to Xiangsha dramas, we have to talk about the groundbreaking legend of Sword and Fairy in 2005. It is not only a pioneer of domestic Xiangsha dramas, but also a resident guest every summer vacation. Even if it is replayed countless times, it still makes people unable to stop. I remember how many people were fascinated and shed tears by the love, hatred and hatred performed by the young faces of Huja, Liu Yifu and Audian. Since then, fairy tale dramas such as The Journey of Flower, The Legend of Chuzen, Eternal Love, and The Kanglin Ju have been released one after another, and have set off a viewing frenzy one after another, becoming the hot spot in the domestic drama market. It seems that the audience's love for fairy tale themes has never diminished. This time, Liu Guangyin is adapted from Ji Mo's novel The Poisonous Pet Mercenary Princess. Just looking at the poster gives people a sense of deja vu of domineering president. But don't be blinded by appearances, this drama is real. The production team has made a lot of innovations based on the original work, retaining the essence of the novel and adding more elements suitable for film and television presentation. From the trailer, it can be seen that both the costumes and props and the special effects production are quite ingenious. Especially the presentation of those fantasy scenes is eye-catching. 
It seems that the producers have invested a lot of money. Just for this production level, it is worth watching. The story is set in a fictional world, surrounded by powerful countries and foreign races. This setting of fictional history gives the screenwriter more creative space and allows the audience more room for imagination. The heroine Han Ziking, played by Zhu Zudin, was originally a concubine of the Prime Minister's mansion, but because of a change of identity, she met the Shining God of War Jun Biao, played by Zhang Han, by mistake. In this way, she was involved in a long-planned continental dispute. The two worked together to overcome many obstacles, kill all kinds of evil poisons, protect Long Garen's peace, and finally harvested sweet love. This kind of plot that has both family and national justice and love between children will surely make many viewers unable to stop, right? The most attractive part of Liu Guangyun is the following three highlights. The first is the mystery of Han Ziking's life experience. On the surface, she is just a concubine of the Prime Minister's mansion, but in fact she has a mysterious power that can determine the direction of the continent. The seven notes scattered all over the continent are the key to solving this mystery. This setting can't help but remind people of the Daughter of Destiny in many martial arts novels, but Liu Guangyun has obviously added more fantasy elements on this basis. Who is Han Ziking? What kind of changes will her power bring to Long Garen continent? These puzzles will surely become an important clue throughout the whole play. The second attractive place is the fantasy landscape of Long Garen continent. The author Ji Mo constructed an attractive fantasy world in the original work. There are not only the secret domain Ginyar Ohai Valley and Yangtze Island, but also the ones that only exist in legends. The audience follows the plot, as if they can travel to this magical world in person. It can be seen from the trailer that the production team has put a lot of effort in restoring these fantasy scenes. Whether it is the magnificent mountains and rivers or the mysterious ancient ruins, they are all presented vividly. I believe that these exquisite pictures will definitely bring a lot of visual enjoyment to the audience. The third highlight is the intricate power struggle on the continent. On the Long Garen continent, countries are fighting overtly and covertly for world hegemony. Humans and alien races, such as the Ant-Man race in the deep sea, are also constantly competing. The outcome of this continental dispute will undoubtedly touch the hearts of every audience. The plot of power struggle has always been the favorite of many audiences, and the power struggle under the background of fairy tales will surely be more exciting. Who will be the final winner in the game between various forces? What will be the fate of the Long Garen continent? The answers to these questions may not be revealed until the end of the play. In addition to these three highlights, the emotional drama in the play is also worth looking forward to. There are two completely different men around Han Ziking, one is the domineering Shining God of War Jun Biao, and the other is the infatuated and dedicated Zuanir and Liga, played by Yao Chi. Zuanir and Liga is the prince of the Dongling royal family. He has been carrying the burden of restoring the country since he was a child. But the men of the Dongling royal family are destined to live no more than 30 years old, which makes Liga always think that the meaning of his life is to restore Dongling, until he met Han Ziking. This heart-wrenching setting will surely move many viewers. How will the complicated emotional entanglement between the three people develop? Are you eager to know the ending? Speaking of the cast, Liu Guangyun has invested a lot of money. Zhang Han, Zhu Zudin, Yao Qi and other leading actors are all online in appearance and their acting skills are also quite remarkable. Jun Biao, played by Zhang Han, is domineering, and Han Ziking, played by Zhu Zudin, combines beauty and wisdom. Yao Kai Zuanir and Liga is even more distressing. That infatuation and helplessness will surely move many viewers. In addition to the leading actors, the supporting cast is also very strong, and I believe it will bring a lot of surprises to the audience. The wonderful performances of the actors will undoubtedly add a lot of color to this drama. Of course, any work is inevitably controversial. Some viewers are worried whether the TV series adapted from the novel can fully present the essence of the original work. After all, Many adapted dramas have been complained by fans of the original work because of cutting plots or changing character settings. But some people also believe that as long as the spirit of the original work is respected, appropriate adaptation can make the story more full. I am afraid that this question can only be answered after the show is broadcast. In addition, many fairy tales in recent years have been criticized for the Mary Sue plot. Some viewers are worried that Liu Guangyun will also follow this old path. However, from the information currently revealed, the show seems to be trying to balance fantasy elements and realistic logic, hoping to bring a different experience to the audience. In general, as a 40-episode fairy tale drama, 
The Yu Guangyun has many highlights in terms of subject matter, cast and production level. Especially when many popular dramas are about to end, its arrival undoubtedly gives drama fans a new spiritual sustenance. Whether you are going for the plot, or to see handsome men and beautiful women, or just want to find a drama to kill time, the Yu Guangyun is worth the try. At 8 o'clock tonight, the answer is waiting for you on Tencent Video. Let's walk into this fantasy world together and see if Liu Guangyun can become another dark horse of this year's fairy tale drama. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 